So you may have heard that Hyundai is rolling out Blue Link Plus starting first on the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6 and then to all 2024 Hyundai vehicles equipped with the Blue Link functionality. Now today in this video, I wanna cover what some of the changes are for the Blue Link functionality and what this means for current and future customers for the Blue Link services. So Blue Link has been Hyundai's connected car services and app integration for their vehicles for a little over 10 years now. This is just like many other manufacturers out there that have an app and integration and a way to interact with your vehicle. Over the last five to seven years or so, Blue Link has been complimentary for three years from the first date of purchase on your new vehicle. Now this includes the connected care as well as the remote service packages and I believe some Hyundai models depending on the trim level and whether or not they had built in navigation also came with the guidance package for three years as well. Now for the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6 and like I said, all 2024 Blue Link equipped vehicles, this will be included for the lifetime of ownership for the first owner as long as the vehicle is purchased brand new. Now this also expands the benefits for used and CPO or certified pre-owned vehicles, uh, which is a nice bonus if you do happen to purchase one of these newer vehicles uh, five, seven years down the road or something like that, is you will get expanded benefits under the Blue Link Plus program. Now, of course, I will have all this information linked down in the description below so you guys can read through all the information yourself and go through the chart in the comparison that Hyundai has provided, which it goes into depth and compares all the other makes and models out there. It is pretty impressive what this Blue Link Plus service offers, especially for the first owner. Now, if you currently have a 2023 modular or older Hyundai vehicle, your service will continue with your current three-year trial of the program, or if you're currently paying for the packages, uh, this will go unchanged as far as the renewal for your services. So the pricing will stay the same as it currently is under the older or legacy program, where the Blue Link Plus will offer a discounted rate, a month-to-month -month service option, and uh, enhanced benefits, like I mentioned, for these newer vehicles in the next two, three, five years, or whenever you own that vehicle. So for example, if you have a 2018 Hyundai vehicle equipped with the Blue Link functionality, you can either choose to pay for one, two, or three of the packages as long as your vehicle has built-in navigation. And these are all $99 per year via an annual subscription. Now I have heard that there may be discounts available if you call up and try to renew the service. Uh, I'm not sure on the exact details as far as any discounts go, uh, but it is worth mentioning that there are potential discounts available uh, depending on which packages you select and stuff like that. So I definitely ask for a discount if you're paying the older rate under your legacy service, but nonetheless, it is still going to be more expensive than the Blue Link Plus available on the newer Hyundai models. Now, one other fact to mention this year is that Hyundai had to discontinue service to select older vehicles due to the 2G, 3G data service sunset by select wireless carriers. Now, fortunately, more recent Blue Link vehicles have had an update to the modem to utilize a newer wireless standard such as the 4G LTE service, so they continue to utilize the Blue Link functionality that Hyundai provides. Now this update is actually included in the navigation or display audio update and I'll put the website and link in the description below if you guys have not performed this update on your Hyundai vehicle. And of course, if you're interested in how to perform this update on your vehicle, step-by-step -step process, I have several videos here on the channel going over just that. Uh, so make sure to check out the channel for the update if you need to do that to keep utilizing the older Blue Link functionality. Uh, but of course, the newer vehicles will not need this update to continue using the service. But back to what's changing exactly with the Blue Link Plus packages. Now, Hyundai is essentially moving the three legacy packages that they currently have for the older Hyundai vehicles and moving them into two new ones, the basic as well as the advanced packages. Now, the basic is actually gonna be free for everybody, no matter if you're the first, second, third owner, buy the vehicle new, CPO, or use down the line. This is basically free for anybody who wants to use this functionality. And it is quite impressive that Hyundai is able to offer this to basically anyone who owns that vehicle. Now, if you step up to the advanced package, this is where you will have to pay month to month if you buy the vehicle CPO or used on the market. Now, if you are the first owner, you'll get this for the life of ownership. It includes everything that is available in the three current Blue Link packages. So all of the connected services, the remote functionality, as well as the guidance navigation package. And again, this is a wide range of features that is very impressive and very competitive in the market. Now, the one small complaint I have with this functionality, not only for older Hyundai vehicles, but also newer ones as well, is they're still utilizing the 4G LTE services in all of their vehicles from my understanding. Now I realize 5G is somewhat new in the last few years on a wide scale, but I know some other manufacturers are starting to roll out 
5G connectivity inside of their new vehicles coming out in the next year or two. And I'm sure others are considering switching to 5G here in the short term as well. So to me, I wish Hyundai would sort of switch their vehicles to 5G here in the near future to guarantee or future-proof these new models for the next 10, 15, 20 years down the line, uh, because eventually 4G LTE will be removed from the market, uh, but it's just a matter of time when that will be done. I've seen some articles out there that do state that this is pretty much future-proof for the next 10, maybe 15 years or so, uh, but eventually 4G LTE will be discontinued. So I would assume 5G would future-proof these vehicles just a little bit further. So that is essentially Hyundai's new Blue Link Plus program in a nutshell. If you guys enjoyed this video or found anything helpful out of it, make sure to hit that like button below. Greatly helps out the channel in these videos. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of this new Blue Link program. Were you guys impacted by the 2G, 3G sunset on your older Blue Link vehicles? And just let me know your overall thoughts on this new Blue Link program. I don't see how anyone could be dissatisfied uh, with this new program, at least if you're a new owner of a new 2024 Hyundai vehicle. And if you guys are curious, about the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq, make sure to check out some other videos here on the channel as I've recently test driven that vehicle, compared it side by side with the Ioniq 5, which came out early last year and done a few other videos with it as well. So make sure to check out all that content here if you guys are new and I appreciate everybody who has continued watching and supporting the channel as always. So with all being said, leave your thoughts and comments down below. More information can be found in the description. As always, hope to see you guys in the next one.